Skaftafell, an adventurous playground located in the southeast corner of Iceland in the Vatnajökull National Park. It's a perfect launching pad for lovers of nature due to its close proximity to a variety of breathtaking outdoor activities. From short and easy hiking trails to strenuous day hikes leading you to the tallest waterfall in Iceland. Or if you dare, you can attempt to summit Iceland's highest peak, Kvannadalsnjukur. There are also tour companies that offer guided hikes on nearby glaciers, mountains and ice caves, as well as the option of booking a sightseeing flight over the Vatnajökull area. In this three-part mini-series, we will be exploring some of the major highlights that can be found here and around Skaftafell. So let's begin. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Vivid Iceland. So today on part one of our little mini-series out here in Skaftafell, we're headed to Fastjökull, or the Falling Glacier. So uh, if you're wondering why it's called the Falling Glacier, we'll tell you in just a few moments time. So make sure you grab yourself a beverage, sit back, relax and enjoy. These are glacier mice, or Jöklamus in Icelandic. They are colonies of moss that can be found scattered on the surface of some of the glaciers here in Skaftafell, but have also been observed in Alaska, Greenland and Svalbard. They can be composed of different moss species and are thought to form around some kind of impurity, such as a bit of dust or a small stone chip. Research has shown that the glacier mice rotate and roll, exposing all of their surface. They retain heat and moisture, creating a suitable ecosystem for microorganisms that otherwise could not live on the glacier. More info about the glacier mice will be linked in the description. Okay, so we're about halfway up Fatjökull now, heading towards the icefall, as you see here behind me. And this is where Fatjökull gets its name from, the falling glacier. The ice is flowing out from the top of Vatnajökull down here into the valley, falling over the mountain edge, creating the beautiful ice formations uh, known as seracs, as you can see behind me here. So let's go check it out. An icefall forms when a glacier flows over a steep slope or squeezes through a narrow geological feature. 
The ice within an icefall flows at a faster rate than the rest of the glacier, and due to this, the upper layers of the glacier can start to fracture, creating a very chaotic and dangerous terrain. Seracs are towering chunks of ice and are commonly found in the icefall. They form in areas where two fractures meet or intersect each other. Seracs are extremely fragile and can topple without warning, crushing whatever is below. Underneath the icefall, the glacier tends to flatten or get broader as the ice flow slows down. Okay, so I think that's it for the day. We're a little bit chilly. We're packing up all our gear now and we're going to head down the glacier and we'll get some food. I think we're actually a bit hungry. Yes, of course. <laughs> and right into the sunset. I yes. might show you a bit of that as well. Yeah, it's quite beautiful right now. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, make sure you give us a like, subscribe, whatever. And uh, tell you what, let, let us know in the comments, uh, which one did you like more, Fat Jökull or Solheimer Jökull? We'd love to find out. Thanks for that and we'll catch you later. Bye.